The Cube at Hadoop Summit 2014 is brought to you by anchor sponsor Hortonworks. We do Hadoop. And headline sponsor, WAN Disco. We make Hadoop invincible. Okay, welcome back. We're live here at the Hadoop Summit in Silicon Valley, live in San Jose. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. And we're here with Wikibon top analyst, big data, Jeff Kelly, wikibon.org. Jeff's day one summary here. Um, you know, I got to say, the vibe is really like mellow. Uh, mellow in the sense of not a lot of mudslinging, not a lot of you know, active comp competition. It's almost a lull before the storm of growth. So like if you think about like, you know, the trough of disillusionment, I think we've been through that. And it feels like from the data that we were sharing earlier from your survey, is that we are coming out of the trough of disillusionment. And I think, I feel like, business outcomes, the financings are up, you're starting to see the players get their groove swings, the swim lanes or whatnot. What's your take of, of today? Well, I feel like, uh, I don't know if I use the word mellow, but I think it's, there's, there's, a, there's an aura of seriousness. I think when, when you start talking about enterprise deployments, you start talking about topics like governance and security, um, you know, this is where Hadoop has really grown up. And you know, we're at that point now where as we've, as we've talked about some of the numbers we found in our, in our uh, survey work, you know, only about a quarter of Hadoop practitioners are actively, you know, active paying customers of, of Hortonworks or Cloudera or IBM, whoever. So you know, there's a huge opportunity here and when that, that number's going to rise, and I think it's going to rise rapidly this year, as a lot of these proof of concepts and experimentation deployments go into production. So I think there's an air of seriousness um, you know, as well as excitement um, around what Hadoop can, can mean for uh, the enterprise. Uh, and that's a good sign. Um, you know, it's, it's taken, you know, 10 years to get here, and you know, it'll, there's a lot of development that still needs to happen. Uh, but the fact that we're having these conversations, I think, is a good thing. Um, and, and clearly, I think from some of the guests we've had on today, John, I mean, we've had some you know, really data-focused companies, but we've also had a 200-year-old company in British Gas that are really going all in on Hadoop. So you know, when you start to see companies like that uh, making, the, making the shift to some of these new technologies, uh, I think that portends uh, some good things for this market. So Joe Hellerstein, a guest in Heat Chu from IBM here. Obviously IBM playing very nicely in the open source community um, with a huge portfolio. Um, we got Red Hat here, we got Wan Disco and Hortonworks. All the leaders are here and it's fantastic. Um, Actian um, really doing some good work. So I got to get your take on this. Talk about your survey. We talked about it earlier today, mm -hmm. your survey. It's going to be coming out soon. Share with folks some of the tidbits that you found interesting as it relates to the survey and this event. Mm -hmm. Well, so we went out and talked to uh, big data practitioners. Um, who have either deployed big data technology, which includes Hadoop, but is not exclusive to Hadoop, could mean, could mean uh, other types of analytic environments, data visualization tools, data integration, there's all sorts of components that go into a quote unquote big data deployment. Um, so we talked to practitioners who were either doing proof of concepts, others who have moved to production, others who were just kind of at that evaluation stage. And what we found uh, is that you know, clearly these practitioners expect big things. Uh, you know, 45% of them really say that big data is the new source of competitive advantage for their organization. You know, about the same amount say, well, it's an extremely important complement to our existing data warehousing and BI environment. So you, know, you take those two groups, that's 90 plus percent uh, of practitioners who really believe this is going to have a profound impact on their enterprise. Um, you know, I think clearly, you know, this is going to have a, a future in the enterprise. Um, some of the other things we found were the technologies in use uh, you know, Hadoop, while is kind of the poster child for big data, uh, only about 36% of the respondents uh, are currently working with Hadoop. And of those, as I mentioned, only about 25% are paying customers of, of Hortonworks or Cloudera, et cetera. So they're still, even among these early adopters, they're very early on in their deployment. So there's still a long way to go. Uh, the good news is they're starting to uh, look at things like SQL on Hadoop. Over 50% are using some form of SQL on Hadoop to query data. So they're not just doing storage, they're not just storing data and trying to figure out later what to do with it. They're already actively querying this data. Um, you know, it also has implications for you know, the data warehouse market. Uh, we're seeing 60% plus have migrated 
one workload or another from a data warehouse or an existing mainframe to Hadoop. Basically, it's because it's leveraging all the, the power at low cost that uh, Hadoop provides uh, relative to those legacy systems. So there's going to be an impact on the data warehouse market. I don't think it's going to, Hadoop's going to replace the data warehouse in virtually any organizations, but there is going to be a complement, or I should say, a competition for, those, uh, for some of the same dollars as the workloads overlap. Um, there are going to still be some things that are very critical, uh, critical jobs that a data warehouse is still going to take care of, uh, but Hadoop is increasing their, uh, its capabilities and it's going to increasingly take over some of those other workloads. And you never know, I mean, the, the, you know, in five years the paradigm so may shift where Hadoop so who's is a dominant platform. who's positioned right here the most for that, for that data? Because you got, I mean, my insight is you got the people pedaling as fast as they can, mm -hmm. the big guys, the emerging the leaders in the Hadoop space, and then you got the big whales like IBM and others who have a competitive mm -hmm. advantage in terms of resources. So with that, Who's going to win in that environment? Because you have IBM clearly with a competitive advantage over the folks trying to do the data hub stuff and, and not there yet, it's just evolution. Um, and then you've got open source platforms. Where does it all fit in? Well, look, it's, going to be, it's, it's a big market. You know, we predict over $50 billion by 2017. So there's not going to be just one winner and the rest losers. Um, I think there's going to be room for multiple uh, vendors in this space, um, you know, from, from some of the whales, some of the big uh, vendors, such as an IBM, for example, you know, they're, by, by their very nature, a lot of their customers are going to be a little bit more uh, cautious and not, or not really a lot of these early adopters, I mean, there's some for sure, uh, but they're going to be a little bit more cautious, but of course, you're IBM and you've got, you, you, can, you can buy, you've got time, you've got other uh, revenue streams, obviously. Um, you know, companies like Hortonworks Cloudera, you know, they are Hadoop pure plays and they need to start driving real revenue uh, really this year. I mean, we've seen so much money go into this market uh, from the VCs, they want to return. And I think this is the year with, that we're going to start to see it. This is day one summary. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Kelly. Uh, final thoughts, uh, Jeff, I'll start. Um, talent gap continues to be a big issue. Um, this, we need more talent, we need data. There's more huge demand for data science. Um, the trend to abstract away complexities continues to be front and center. Obviously security, enterprise grade, another big trend. Hadoop growing up is clear. This is a serious mood, it's mellow serious. It's a good thing, there's some business being done. Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's my summary of day one. And you still got people from computer science, from academic to industry working together, and it's pretty, really exciting. Uh, you know, I would just echo that. It's a really, uh, it's a great show. It's a really cool environment. I mean, there's 80 plus vendors here. There's attendees from a thousand companies. Um, it's just a really interesting environment. There's, you know, there is some business getting done. There's some exciting new projects underway. Um, you know, just covering this market, you know, it never fails to, to amaze me how fast it's moving. Um, you know, and that keeps us on our toes. So looking forward to another good day tomorrow. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up. I want to up. thank Hortonworks for sponsoring us. We have Actian, Wan Disco. Those guys have been great. Thanks so much for sponsoring us for coming here at theCUBE. We'll be right back uh, tomorrow. Stay with us. This is theCUBE. See you tomorrow. <laughs>